The first monthly Social Security check was cashed in 1940 for a grand total of about $23. Fast forward to 2019, and the average retired worker gets almost $1,500 a month from Social Security. Nearly 9 out of 10 people aged 65 and older receive Social Security benefits, making it an essential part of retiring in the U.S. Benefits are based on your income, the year you were born, and the age you decide to start taking money out. Here's a case study. If you have a traditional job making $50,000, you pay 6.2% of your salary, or $3,100 a year, in Social Security taxes. That number is then matched by your employer. Now, those figures are pretty straightforward. Figuring out how much you'll get back when you're ready to cash out is a different story. Let's say you just turned 62 in 2019, and your average lifetime salary was about $50,000. Yes, we factored in inflation and pay increases. Social Security takes your top 35 earning years, adjusts them for inflation, adds them all together, then divides that number by 420, or the number of months in 35 years. That gives you $4,196. Still with me? That figure gives you your average indexed monthly earnings, or AIME. Simply put, it's your monthly pay for the last 35 years. But there's still some math to get through. Your benefits are determined by three bend points in an equation. It's almost like a tax bracket, but it's used to give you money instead. The less money you've made, the higher a percentage of your salary you'll get back. This is designed to help low-wage retirees. Here's how the bend points work based on your average monthly salary from before. You get 90% of your salary from the first $926. That's over 800 bucks. The next bend is a little trickier. You get 32% of your earnings between $926 and $5,583, which comes out to over $1,000. And at $50,000, we won't have to worry about the third bend. So now we have our number. You can expect almost $1,900 in Social Security from a $50,000 salary if you take your benefits at the earliest possible age of 62. These numbers assume a lot of variables, but give you a picture of what to expect when you retire. You can go to ssa.gov to get an official estimate of your benefits and tips on what age you should retire. And don't forget, Social Security is not meant to be your sole source of income for retirement. And the bends and totals are always changing, so you still need to be serious about saving for your future. Invest in you. Ready, set, grow. CNBC and Acorns.